These are the new Canon full-frame cinema zoom lenses, 20 to 50 and 45 to 135 mm. This is a Cinedy Gear News video, supported by B&H and CVP. Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinedy, and we are here at NAB 2022 on the show floor, and I'm here with Dirk from Canon. Dirk, how are you? I'm very much fine. Thank you very much. It's really nice to be here, and you just introduced two new full-frame zoom lenses. So, Dirk, before we dive a little bit deeper into the new products, what was the urge to bring full-frame zoom lenses to the market? Yeah, of course, there's a, yeah, some request. We have full-frame cameras uh, in our program, so there was also some need and some demand to have also full-frame cine lenses to come out with. So obviously you were listening to filmmakers mm -hmm. and you decided to bring two full-frame cinema zoom lenses. Can you tell me a little bit about the focal length and so on? Yeah, so yeah, the request from the market was uh, to have uh, yeah, zoom lenses, but it should not be too heavy. That's why we decided to bring out two lenses. One is from uh, 20 to 50 mil, the other one is from 45 to 135 mil. So with these two lenses, we could manage uh, the weight to have it quite low. Uh, it is a 3.3 kilogram and uh, the tele is 3 kilogram only. So it's a quite compact uh, zoom if you consider it's a full frame uh, zoom. Okay, but when you design a lens, any path you take, it might result in a higher weight. How, how do you combat this? Yeah, this is uh, yeah, the uh, long experience from Canon how to make uh, and how to design lenses. Uh, so, yeah, we are really proud uh, that uh, Canon could manage such a compact uh, yeah, zoom lenses. Even, yeah, the focal length is uh, yeah, quite well accepted. And uh, this is to do with the long experience. Okay. And while on being on set, when you change those lenses, do you also have to worry about different accessories or everything is the same, the front diameter and the weight and so on, all matches to each other? No, everything is the same, so it's very easy to change. And uh, so the gears uh, for focus and zoom, the 0.8, so you can use all the equipment from the cinema market uh, if you want to operate with. And what type of look should we expect from those lenses? Is it more to the cold or more to the warm? Is it a modern look or a bit more vintage? What should we expect? The look is, uh, yeah, I would say very much natural. A uh, little bit tendency to warm, but uh, the, the lens was designed uh, to have the best skin tone. Uh, this was the, the priority to design this lens. And uh, the lens, so the color, character, the color characteristic matches completely with the, our prime lenses uh, so you can easily swap also with our uh, primes and the zooms and you see the same uh, color characteristics. You already headed the market or you already have in the market zoom lenses but those are super 35 but I was really astonished to see that the price of those new full frame lenses is reduced so much if I compare it to the older Super 35 lenses. How were you able to do so? Um, good question. <laughs> I do not know. So it's, um, uh, yeah, of course, a matter of the quantity we, we make. And uh, yeah, so what we can see here in the US market, uh, they sold quite a lot already. Even we just announced uh, one week ago these new lenses and the market is accepted very well. Do you know which part of the market? More rental houses or individual individual uh, production houses? Yeah, it's both, but uh, it's more rental houses, of course. And both lines will coexist, the Super 35 and the full frame? Yes, still we will make the, the Super 35, because for Super 35 we have these top-end zooms, which are going from 30 to 300 mil, and one from 15.5 uh, to 60 mil. Should we expect any reduction in prices of the Super, 5, Super 35 lenses? There is no plan at the moment to change the prices. The perception is that if a lens is heavy, it's probably using a lot of glass element, elements, and the result might be a better optical quality. And your latest full-frame zoom lenses are actually not so heavy. 
What does it mean about the optical quality? So the, the optical quality is, is really excellent because you can use these uh, new zoom lenses even for 8K. It's for 8K prepared already. And uh, yeah, it's, it's quite lightweight because uh, yeah, we restrict the zoom. And it's, uh, yeah, of course, it would be better to have this in, in one lens from 20 to 135 mil. But then you have to compromise uh, yeah, because then you really get heavy weight. And uh, that's why we yeah, separated in two lenses, and uh, but still keeping the full range, but very compact and very lightweight. It's not only the, the image quality itself uh, for 8K, it's also this uh, typical zooming effect, because you know, uh, zoom lenses, they have some zoom effect during focusing, so the image is breathing. And uh, if you have a look on these new lenses, it's really fantastic. It's almost no breathing. And yeah, it, you, you can use them really instead of uh, prime lenses. You can use these compact uh, zoom lenses. Should we expect the same sharpness throughout the zoom range? Yes, yes. And uh, it's, it's not only the sharpness, which is still constant. It's also there's no F-drop. Uh, so we have the open iris uh, T2.4 the whole range and uh, this makes it so interesting lens. Typically you produce your zoom lenses with EF mount. Is that the case also with those full frame lenses? Yes, we have uh, both uh, possibilities. So we have an uh, EF mount, but we are also providing with a uh, PL mount. And you can also swap, you can change uh, this mount and uh, yeah, be flexible if you want to have EF or PL. How about the RF mount? Because obviously a lot of your latest cinema cameras are moving that direction. Yeah, at the moment there is no plan uh, to have these lenses with RF mount because in this market this is really the high-end uh, market where, where these um, lenses are targeting. And in this high-end market you have mainly PL mount uh, cameras available. So that's why we are concentrating on PL mount and EF mount at this moment. Thank you. And what about pricing and availability? Yeah, so the price is a little bit higher than 18K. Availability is um, planned for the wide angle zoom starting from June, for the tele zoom starting from September. It might be a little bit uh, delayed because of the situation uh, of uh, logistics, but this is at the moment the plan. Customers would customers be able to purchase a single lens, so it always as a duo. No, you can you can purchase single lens. This is no problem. We we don't sell it as a set uh, because yes, some might no need uh, the tele version, and uh, so you can buy them of course individually. Dirk, anything else that I forgot to ask, or any any other detail that you want to add about those lenses? Yes, but might be also very interesting is that uh, this uh, lens has uh, some uh, data output, the uh, Cook Eye system and the Zeiss extended data system. So we are compatible with uh, these two formats. And for those who are not familiar with that data format, what mm. actually, what does it do? Mm. What is the, the benefit of having such a feature in a, in a modern lens? If, if you want to use uh, some uh, virtual um, yeah, reality, then you need the data of the lens, means you need the exact uh, zoom focus position, but also what uh, yeah, the, the uh, iris is uh, at the moment, and uh, this data you need it to combine it with the virtual um, reality. Good. Dirk, thank you very much. It was really a pleasure to talk to you about your new full-frame zoom lenses. And guys, thank you very much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And much more is coming from the show floor. Thank you.